Hi guys, it's me. Welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. So today I am altering a pencil case that I got. I think I got this from Target. It was on sale. So I love to kind of decorate or repurpose or alter my um, art supplies. I love these little containers for pencils that I put in and my art pens and all that kind of stuff. But I also love to like stash paper and stickers in them too. So you'll see here that I'm just going through my scrap bag. <laughs> it's a big Ziploc bag. And I'm just picking out colors and things that I think will go together. So lots of neutrals, black and whites. And then I have under paper and all sorts of things. And I'm just tearing it apart. I'm going to be using um, just this really bad matte medium that I got from Amazon. That's a little bit cloudy when it dries. Um, but I want to use it up. So I'm through half the bottle now. <laughs> of course, it was a big quantity. But for some reason, it gets like really cloudy and like really strange when it dries. So... I'm just going to go, I'm going to use that. So I put it in a little white container, as you can see there. And I am just collaging down just pieces of paper. I have tissue paper. I have book pages. I have under paper. I have scrapbooking paper. I have my printables, which are those black circles um, that you can get in my Etsy store. I love using those because they just add a pop of contrast. And I am just going to collage the heck out of this thing. <laughs> it's so much fun and it's so relaxing. I think it took me maybe about like 20 or 30 minutes to do it, but I collage very fast. I don't think about it. I just kind of put the pieces down. So this is wrapping paper that has beautiful patterns on it. I love getting wrapping paper from the Dollar Tree. They have beautiful ones um, and it's so fun to use in your art. So at first I thought that I was going to add paint to this, but I really loved how it looked collage, so I'm not going to add um, any paint. So I'm just going to let you watch the process. You just take the medium, you apply it onto the plastic, and then you put the piece of paper down and then you seal it with the medium. And um, I just love the way that this turns out. I love that it's like just full of layers and you'll see um, what I love about this because it's clear you can see the spots that you miss that's a coloring book page from the dollar store I will collage with anything um, you can see it I'm gonna even use like some polka dot napkin so you'll see it's just so much fun um, but you can see kind of where you didn't cover it very well <laughs> So um, I will see that eventually and um, you just work in layers and I let things dry and then I did another layer on top. So you'll see I have brown paper, all sorts of paper. So it's really fun. I'll let you enjoy the process. I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that you give this a try. I'd love to see um, how yours turned out. But it's so nice to be surrounded by beautiful things, you know, that are kind of your own. So I do this a lot with like boxes and I'm even planning on um, doing this with my art table and just lots of things. Um, I think it's so nice um, when you alter things that you will use in your art room. It just adds a layer of beauty and it has your hand in it too. Even when you're going through stuff and looking at it, it's so nice. <laughs> so you saw that I let that dry. So I'm just going to do another layer of paper. I just really got into those grooves. You do see that for the scrapbooking paper, it's a little bit thick. So I did spray the back of it with water. So I am going to just let you watch the last little bit of this because I've been talking up a storm. <laughs> so <laughs> enjoy and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for all your support. I'm so glad that you're here and I will see you for the next video. Bye bye.